Hi guys, welcome back to my Streets of Blackpool video. This is part two of my Bloomfield Road Streets of Blackpool video. So if you've seen part one, welcome back. And if you haven't seen part one, well, welcome to part two. And part one should be available somewhere if you want to watch it. We're going to start on the corner of Bloomfield Road and Central Drive, right where we ended up the last video. On this side here, it's pretty much exclusively residential. There's, there you can see Connors Studios and Apartments. It's all hotels and houses. Apart from there, where we've got the Bloomfield Medical Centre. Doctors and chemists right next to it. So there's a lot less to see on this half of Bloomfield Road but for those of you that want to see the road or live down at the other end like a childhood home or a childhood place that you remember I'm sure you'll want to see the whole thing There we've got Falmouth Road This is like my, not my very young childhood, my childhood slash Teen memories because I lived as a child near the Saddle Pub, like Martin area, and as a younger kid and a teen, I lived more central Blackpool. So this is more my like teenage memories around here. I've got a chemist there. Can anybody remember what that building used to be before it was a chemist? Was it a garage? I'm pretty sure, guys, that it was a garage. Over there, on the opposite side, we've got the Bloomfield Club. That's been there a good old while, hasn't it? Been there for a long time. And then we've just got houses on both sides. Looking down there, that is Shetland Road, leading down south. But keeping on down here now, we've just pretty much got houses. But I do want to show you folks the whole street because I think the important thing when doing these streets of Blackpool series is we get the whole street in and there's streets. Gosh, that's loud. There's a helicopter going over the top. Yeah, we show streets and places where people wouldn't usually film. And I like to film places that don't normally get filmed because if those places change then we've got a record of that that was my motivation first of all for doing the streets of Blackpool series just to keep a record of Blackpool as a whole rather than like just show the buildings just show the demolitions just show the prom that is Dunnell Road down there we've got a nice little eatery there grill coffee smoothies on the corner there, on the other side, we've got Lidl's. Before that was Lidl's, it used to be a Lidl's and a farm food attached to it. But before it was Lidl's with the farm foods attached to it, before that, it used to be Yellowway Coach Stations. And yeah, all the coaches would congregate there and there was a little coach station and all the local little kids would stand there with like, crappy little trolleys on a Saturday morning hanging around the coaches and when all the people would get off the coaches we'd all be like need your bags carry anywhere mate need your bags taken anywhere and you'd take some people's bags to different hotels hoping that they'd slip a few pennies in your hands afterwards when we get to the corner here the street that runs right across is Anstall Road and still road that way leads on to Condor Grove and Grasmere Road and that little street that just juts off to the left is Queen Victoria Road when we get to the corner here Bloomfield Road carries straight on to the top we've got the famous Bloomfield pub there look or now should I say the Bloomfield brew house 
Although the main entrance there is actually on Anstall Road. So technically the Bloomfield is on Anstall Road, not Bloomfield Road. The Cottage Bakery is there. Can we cross? No, not yet. The Cottage Bakery, the food there is really, really, really good. I do like the food there, although at some point they did change the recipes for the pies and those pies change from being the most delicious things you'd ever eat to just being a bit meh, they're okay. So I did like the old recipe better, but the cookies are good and the little tray bake cakes, they're just to die for. Oh look, there are some good food deals in the Bloomfield. Got nice little sit outdoor area, it's nicely fenced off with some little brollies over there. Oh, there is an entrance there, that could be also the front entrance, so yeah, we could say the Bloomfield is on Bloomfield Road. The two streets we're walking up to now we've got Marina Avenue to the right, we've got Rose Avenue to the left. I think Marina comes out on Finsbury Avenue, if I remember correctly. And Rose Avenue, well I think that comes out on Grasmere Road. We're still on our shared path. Although I haven't noticed really anybody, cyclists or pedestrians, coming down here. This is all uphill now, slowly uphill till we get to the end. And it's also pretty much all residential houses it's a very nice street this I think this end it's quiet and I also think it's in a good location because you haven't got far to walk to the beach you just walk down to the bottom and then you're at Lytham Road and you also don't have far to go into town the street we're coming up to now on our right is Ark Home Avenue just a little one there that runs off down there that may come out on Anstall Road and curl all the way around but I'm not actually sure I do struggle to remember where some of these streets come out on I have to just stop and think a little bit like mm, where, where does that come out of going uphill now it's a long old road isn't it guys it really is i think i'm going to do try and do more walking streets of blackpool videos because the cycling ones are good because we get to cover more area and you get to see more but the walking ones we get to notice more and also the camera's steadier that is finsby avenue that curls all the way around and comes out on Anstall Road. I used to babysit for a lady on Finsby Avenue when I was a teenager. She had two little boys and they were the most adorable little kids ever and the mum and dad were also really 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 nice. I loved going there because the house was always so warm and friendly. The street there, to the left, that just juts off there, that's the start off Grasmere Road. And that little building there with those flats on, Holsworth Court. I used to walk past there as a kid and think if I could live anywhere in the world, I'd live in one of those flats, the top ones with the balconies. Because I thought if you lived in a balcony, in a place with a balcony it'd be like being on holiday permanently like being in a hotel that alley next to it is back Cunliffe Road but yeah I just really 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 wanted to live there in one of those third floor flats with a balcony it just seemed like the best place on the planet to live and the road we're coming up to now is Cunliffe Road quite a long road from this road it goes all the way up there I think it comes out on Park Road I'm not sure and the bottom bit I'm almost certain it comes out on Ansel Road but it's a long old road that little house there on the corner 
with like the angular shape that used to be a little paper shop when I was a kid and I used to buy comics weekly like you know the little girls comics like Bunty and Judy and Mandy and stuff like that and if they didn't have them at the paper shop on the corner of Condor Grove I would run up to there and they always had the comics in there it was like the only reason I didn't go to that shop first was because it was further away so it was always my second choice but any time I couldn't get a comic I would go there and they had it the street we're walking past now is Boardman Avenue that runs off down there towards Anstel I think and we're very nearly at the end now guys yeah I do know part two isn't anywhere near as exciting as part one not that part one's exciting or anything you know what I mean there was definitely more to see in part one but like I say it's all part of getting these whole streets on record and things like this they're places where nobody really would film because why would you you know it's just a random street so you're just like oh yeah why are you filming there but it's just so people can see these places that's Hartford Avenue that's a short little hilly curvy avenue that just comes out onto Park Road and speaking of Park Road guys we are nearly there We're just going to get to the top of this hill and we will be at the end of Bloomfield Road and on Park Road. How about that? We will have finished the whole street. See, I really like this part of Bloomfield Road. You're on top of a hill, so you probably get a nice view. When I get to the top, I will turn the camera around so we can look all the way down the street we've just filmed and walked down and it's a lovely day for filming and walking isn't it and just like that guys we are at the end of Bloomfield Road just got some houses on this side and just pretty much houses on that side but there is a little nice tree green area there and Bloomfield Road finishes at the top of the hill on Park Road if you go down Park Road that way you come to Aldis and then you're on the dual carriageway driving out of Blackpool if you go down Park Road that way, you're driving into town. If we look down where we've just walked, that is Bloomfield Road. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these types of videos, please let me know and I will make more. And also hit the like button and subscribe. And if there's any particular streets you'd like to see, leave them in the comments and I will try my best to get round to him at some point. So thanks again for watching and goodbye.